So the battery, car battery, is powering, will be powering this wattmeter and the output of the wattmeter is going to these light bulbs, currently just one, to the two sides. And let's see the power consumption. Bulb is on and it says 57, the battery is pretty discharged, it says 9 volts, 55 watts. Now I'm going to connect the two bulbs in parallel and that would double the power consumption. So now the left side is connected to the left side of the other bulb and the right side is connected to the right side of the other bulb. And let's power it. And surprise it's not working. I mean it's working very slowly. 74 watts. 72, 8 volts, the battery is severely discharged. So the second bulb is barely working. This cable is very hot and it's also very thin. Before replacing this thin wire, let's do a test. I will power not the first bulb but the second bulb. And since the wire is very thin, then the first bulb should barely light up because of the poor transfer. So currently, the first bulb is being powered and the second is barely receiving any power as you can see okay and now let's move the power so now i'm powering the second bulb and the first should barely light up and yes that's the case so the wire is very thin now let's replace that thin wire this one this is not too thick, but it's a little bit thicker. So from there to there. It's not touching the center one. And now they should theoretically both light up well. Almost well. Just a little bit slower on the left side. So the cables are not too good. And... 77 watts and 7.9 volts so the <laughs> battery needs a severe charging now the right side cable was also replaced now let's see 80 79 the left side is still a little bit orange before it was better so maybe now the wires are even thinner so this wattmeter can be used for an 80 watt load you cannot simply short circuit the end that's too much a small solar panel is charging the battery through that charge controller this watt meter so power enters here into the watt meter and exits there and there to the battery let's see how it will work so nothing is displayed on the watt meter nine 19, 20, 30 watts, 40 watts, 47 watts, 13.7 volts, 3.5 amps, 48 watts, 3.48 amps. Solar panel is giving the energy into that charge controller through these two crocodiles into the source of the wattmeter. And it exits through these small wires. They are not hot yet. And they enter into the battery. These cables of mine are pretty thin. So let's see if I add more cables in parallel. Will the power transfer to the battery increase? Currently it says 40.47 watts. A wire from here to the negative somehow. 47.8 48 watts I should not connect it to the crocodile but to the wire itself but I can't there's no change there 47.8 47.69 whatever so it's the same so adding more cables is not yet modifying anything 